Hey guys, Jerry here with Landshipper Studio. One of my favorite things about Concepts app is the fact that it is actually vector-based versus raster-based, like some of the other apps that are out there. Um, this is, allows us to be able to zoom in and zoom out, uh, change the scale, change some of the characteristics of our line work, all without losing clarity. But another thing that it actually allows us to do is export our line work as DWG. So what we're gonna do today, if you remember, we created a video a little while ago uh, showing you how to create objects for uh, things that you use all the time in your drawings, like you know furniture, plants. Well, we're gonna export those out of Concepts app today into our favorite CAD programs uh, to bring a little bit of our style uh, into our construction documents. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start off by creating a blank canvas here. Uh, so when we're gonna come over here, we're gonna tap import, and we have all the objects that we've created uh, sitting over here on the left-hand side. Uh, again, if you need to learn how to create these, uh, we have a video that you can go and check out, uh, just a quick tutorial on how to create these. Um, so we're gonna bring a few of them in that we wanna bring over, and I wanna try and make all, sure all these are roughly the same size. Uh, we're going to scale some of them up. Um, I'm not really going to mess with any of the line work in here, uh, but we may have a little bit of adjustments uh, that we'll do once we get over to our CAD program. Um, so just going to kind of fill the page out with what we want to send over. And once I get to this point, I am just going to come up and go to export. And then instead of selecting PDF, I'm going to come right here to DXF. And this is what's going to um, export out the uh, vector lines as a DWG file for us. We've opened up our CAD program, which for me is going to be SketchUp Pro's layout. And I've created a new blank canvas here. Uh, this is an 11 by 17 that we're going to use. I'm going to go to File and then Insert, and then I'm going to select the file, which is going to be that DXF file that we exported from Concepts app. And I'm going to bring it in. And so it's going to take a second to load up. And once it does load up, we're going to select Model Only um, instead of Paper Space. Uh, and that pulls up here. So Model Only and then hit import and it's going to import them as a solid group so these are all the blocks or objects that we made in concepts app so what i'm going to do really quickly is i'm going to ungroup these and this is going to ungroup it where it's just line by line so i'm going to go back through and i'm just going to select each one and hit Control g to make it a group uh, or command g if you were on a mac and just quickly. And then what I wanna do, I actually wanna go in and mess with the line weights a little bit. Uh, so for instance, this one right here, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna select those outer lines and I'm gonna come over here to my shape style and I'm going to make that, let's make it a 1.5. Uh, just to give that a little bit more of a darker, more pronounced edge. Uh, and we'll do the same thing with this one here. So instead of selecting all these, I'm actually just gonna select the whole thing and then shift select that to deselect those. And then I'm gonna change that to a 1.5 as well. And so once I get to this point, what all I need what I need to do now is I'm gonna leave it labeled as concept objects, but I'm just gonna go to file and then go to save as scrapbook. And then I'll type in concepts objects. And then I've already done it once, but you'll come down here to your scrapbook and find the new scrapbook that you just saved. Click on it and then there is your objects or blocks ready to be clicked on and used for your landscape plans. Or if it's site furnishings, whatever it is, uh, you can come and just point and click. And then you can also scale these up or down to whatever they need to be um, and then even once you have them in here uh, let's say for instance I didn't want this one to be such a pronounced uh, outline for a tree for instance I can come in and still mess with the shape style or the line work in here 
and can make this more of a shrub. Hey guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this kind of helped you see that you can take some of the stuff that you're doing in Concepts app on your iPad and branch it out into other parts of your process. Uh, for me, this has been a big help in kind of creating almost a brand identity uh, as well and people being able to see uh, our style you know, throughout our entire workflow. So um, if you have any questions or anything you think that we kind of skipped on in this video that you'd like a little bit more detail on, uh, let me know. Um, any other topics that you guys want to see us go over or kind of see uh, inner workings on how we do what we do, just uh, post it down in the comments and we'll try and address what we can. I uh, hope this helps. Take it easy, guys.